Okay guys, I just ran a box of 20 of the new Liberty Civil Defense 50 grain, 1500 feet per second hollow point copper slug rounds through my Ruger LCP2. Now this pistol I just got today, I took it directly out of the box. I ran about 200 rounds of Ultramax through it. Excuse me, 250 rounds of Ultramax through it. And uh, I then subsequently grabbed a box of this Liberty Civil Defense and ran it through. Now, a couple of things about this ammo. Now, I don't know if it's my pistol or what's going on, but I think it might have something to do with the magazines. Uh, I did order two more magazines as I bought two of these Rugers at the same time, one for Kimmy and one for myself. And um, one of these magazines is made in Italy. Let me see if you can get that in there. Come on, baby. Mm, well, anyway, this magazine here, you can see it is made in Italy. This magazine came with the pistol. And it is made in the USA. So, I thought that might have something to do with it. I had a failure to feed on uh, the second to the last round with this one. Well, let me, let me say it this way. I had a failure uh, for the round to go into battery. And when I pulled the round out, midway on the tip of the hollow point, it looked like it had catch, caught on. Uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it would have caught on in there because, you know, it's pretty much just a ramp and on in. I don't know what exactly happened, but I think, I suspect, it may have had something to do with the magazine spring tension. Um... Nevertheless, uh, that being said, I had a, a, you know, a failure in each one of these magazines. Not good. Not good in 20 rounds. But that being said, these rounds, to give you an idea of what they're all about, they're probably half the weight of the regular uh, lead uh, Ultramax, which these are remanufactured. Uh, the pistol, by the way, ate these right up. I only had uh, one failure to feed with these. Uh, I'm looking, oh, these, these are 115 grain, and they're basically just lead, uh, no, no jacket. But uh, I had uh, failure to feed in each one of these magazines, and I don't know if it was just the spring tension or what. These things are light. You load six rounds into this magazine, it is half the weight if you loaded the 115 grain ones in. I'm not kidding you, they're very light. Made out of copper. Uh, the rounds are considerably louder when they're shot. Uh, but I will tell you that the extreme advantage with these, besides being a lightning fast 1500 feet per second, is that there is very, very little recoil as compared to the 115 grain regular lead rounds. Uh, the bullets, you know, they just don't weigh anything. And... Uh, even though the charge is hot, much, much hotter than these Ray manufactured Ultramax, uh, I could tell you that there is maybe half the recoil, maybe a little less than half of the recoil with these Liberty Civil Defense rounds. Uh, strategically, they're a great round. I hope to get this ironed out. I, I really want these to work because I, I really like the fact that when you load them in there, the pistol is much lighter. Uh, it's a 1,500 feet per second round. Incredible velocity. Incredible potency. Uh, and, uh, you know, as far as a grouping, uh, they were great. They were great. At uh, 25 feet, it was maybe about 6 inches. And, I mean, I just picked this pistol up and uh, went for it. You know, and I'm not quite used to it yet. I, like I say, I've... All in all, I have 270 rounds through it. Uh, so, um, 
I'm very, very pleased. I, you know, I can only get better uh, as I as I practice with it. I I intend to run a thousand rounds through it. So, um, but the pistol, the pistol is amazing, um, and uh, I'm going to try to iron this out and maybe look around and see if anybody else has had that problem. Now, when I have a round that doesn't cycle on the next to last or the last round, that tells me that there is a possibility that it's spring tension in the magazine. So I'll see what I can find out. But, uh, you know, um, just I guess I would recommend getting these rounds and trying them in your pistol. Even if you do have an LCP2, maybe it's just mine. Who knows? But uh, I really like the rounds. Hopefully, I can figure this out. And if I do, I'll let you know. Thank you.